Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What do you say? You say you're a Nazi? Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! Every year we're treated with the samey feeling Call of Duty or Far Cry every other year, which is a far cry from anything that's fun. Gotta love puns. Wolfenstein 2 has managed to stay fresh, mostly because I snagged it for $10 on Amazon, but it's also a cut above the box standard shooters we're treated with. It's got balls to the wall action, batshit crazy story, and also a protagonist who could get a girl pregnant just by looking at her. Most of the fun comes from you going on high octane killing spree like Daenerys on a Monday. It's all about speed and reflex rather than strategy and planning, or just hiding behind a cover and doing pop shots. Weapons are punchy and powerful, you can dual wield most of the weapons and have any weapon combinations, which I did not see coming. They can also be upgraded by upgrade kits, but you have to find them by exploring and actually picking them up rather than just getting one for playing the game. Most levels are compact yet feel like you're navigating a maze. They're quite small yet intricate, we have a lot of room to maneuver or just printing in and out of corners, flanking enemies. Each level starts with you being neutral and you can choose to stealth a little bit to snooze out the commanders who ring the alarms. This allows you to deal with fewer Nazis and complete the level quickly. Although stealth is rather bare bones as there's no indicators as to when an enemy's seen you or it feels a bit clumsy in first person. It wants to have the Nazi cake and eat it too, which ends up feeling like a half-baked stealth system that rarely works. Thankfully, it's designed with action primarily in mind. You can overcharge your health by picking up more health and also armor mid-combat, rather than just say storing some medkits and then healing up, or just having regen health like most games these days. This might slow down the pace, but you're doing this at 100 miles an hour. Wolfenstein is at its best when you charge right in and pump in shots for 5 minutes. That's what she said. Halfway through the game, you get to choose an upgrade. I chose Ramshackles, which allows you to break certain doors, bust open crates, tackle your enemies in brutal fashion. It also allows you to throw your hatchet or chosen grenade with extreme velocity, which should make aiming a little easier. This adds another layer to the combat as you can shoot from afar, get up close all up in their biz, or just smash right through them as you explore the levels and blow them up into smithereens and blood. It could have had sliding and dual wielding at the same time, but that's just me. It also introduces a time limit in certain levels, like the radiation in this level will drain your health slowly, so you're having to juggle grabbing health and shooting Nazis even more faster than you did before. This other level takes you to wieners and you have to maintain your suit temperature as you sneak into the base and grab a code. This not only lets you think about enemy placements, but also think about your suit temperature in mind, which changes up the pace in a way that's fresh in terms of gameplay. There are sections of just walking around which then explodes into a cinematic set piece and then slows down to a crawl before putting you back into the action again. Like in this level, BJ goes to Roswell with a warhead to regroup with his mate Spech. It's a tense yet slow walking section where you listen to people's anecdotes or see the details of the world inhabited by Nazis. And then you get discovered by a Nazi but it doesn't end in a firefight, which feels odd in terms of story but subverts expectations in terms of pace and gameplay. And then you infiltrate the Ober Commando to hijack a train, which has a sense of forward momentum as you sprint towards enemies and blow them to bits with shotgun and have to traverse in and out of the train. You kill some more Nazis and then you take out the station with the warhead. This leads to the most slower section as you meet up with BJ's dad in his house, which then explodes into a bombastic set piece with lots of flair. Some of the best games I've played are well paced like The Last of Us, which juggles cutscenes, firefights and calm exploration bits in a way that never gets boring, unlike this video. This kind of bonkers balls to the wall action and pacing is unique to a game like Wolfenstein, which challenges the norm by making you play a certain way. This is probably the most fun I've had since 2016's Doom and Titanfall 2, and I had sex last week. Hey, thanks for watching, subscribe to support my channel, and like the video done in the panel. Ooh, that rhymed.